Hi everyone, thanks for joining. Um, today we are going to do a practice in which we're going to build up towards a handstand. And so you might want to make a space um, next to the wall without any paintings, without any uh, obstacles close to you so that you're practicing really safely. And then we're going to start in a cross-legged position. So come to sit in any cross-legged position that feels comfortable for you. Resting your hands on your knees. Closing your eyes. And let's just take a moment to bring our attention inward. For the duration of this practice, let go of all the things that happened today in your life. And just really focus on yourself, on your body, on your breath. And remember that during the practice, you can always skip a posture. You can always take a moment of rest. And then take a moment to feel how you are sitting here. Become aware of your posture. Take a moment to bring your attention to your hips, to your sitting bones, and allow your sitting bones to become a bit heavier, sinking deeper into your yoga mat. Allow the hip joint to be relaxed so that the legs can be heavy towards the floor. And then from this stable base, start to lengthen your spine. Vertebra by vertebra. You might want to make just a little bit of a hollow lower back. And then lengthen up through the spine, through the crown of the head. And then bringing your shoulders up all the way back and down. Allow the arms to rest. Relax your hands onto your knees. And soften the facial muscles. Soften the eyes, soften the jaws. And take your attention to your breath. Start to deepen your breath all the way to your lower belly. Filling up your lungs like you're filling up a glass of water, starting with the bottom and the middle part, so the part, the lower part of your chest, and then the chest, the back, the sides of your body, exhaling completely. Inhaling deeply towards the belly, lower rib cage, chest, back, and sides, exhale completely. Continuing this deep breath, creating a very nice steady rhythm for the rest of the practice. And 
And we'll start by warming up our body, warming up our neck. On the exhalation, gently let your chin move towards your chest. On an inhalation, let your head move back up. Lengthen the throat. Exhale forward. Inhale up and back. Following the rhythm of your own breath. And then place your head back in the center. And start to move your head sideways, bringing your right shoulder towards your right ear. I mean your left ear towards your left shoulder. And your right ear towards your right shoulder. Moving gently. We're just warming up the body, exploring the movements we can make today. And on the next exhalation, allow your head to move forward, circling all the way to the other side. Inhaling all the way back. Keep on creating space in the chest, in the back of the neck. Exhale forward. And rotate in the opposite direction. Inhaling back and exhaling forward. And place your head back in the center. And maybe opening up your eyes, bringing your arms alongside your body. On an inhalation, lifting up the arms, creating length throughout your arms, throughout your fingertips. Exhale, bring the arms back down, using the whole exhalation to let the arms come down. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, bring the arms back down. Inhale up. And then interlace your fingers, bring the palms of the hands up towards the ceiling, create length. And on the exhalation, bring your shoulders down and away from the ears. Inhale, create length through your arms, through your hands. Exhale, bring the shoulders down. One last time, deep inhale, lengthen through the arms. Exhale, bring the shoulders down. Release the fingers and let the arms come down all the way. And then roll over your knees and come into a tabletop position. Placing the hands at shoulder distance apart, spreading the fingers widely. You might want to experiment a little bit with how you want to position your hands. So usually we say that the middle fingers are pointing forward, but if you feel that you would like to bring the fingers just a little bit more out to the sides, then that's also fine. Take a moment to experiment what feels best for you. And then start to bring your attention to your spine. Warm up the spine by making the cat-cow movement. So an inhalation, dropping the belly, looking up. Exhale, rounding the spine. Bring your chin towards your chest. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze up towards the ceiling. And exhale, round your spine. Follow the rhythm of your own breath. Moving as slow or as fast as you like. And stop in the center. 
start to move your spine sideways. So look over the right shoulder as your right hip comes forward. And then look over the left shoulder as the left hip comes forward. And repeat that on your own rhythm. And then finally making circles with your head and your hips at the same time. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Let the whole spine move along. Move in the opposite direction. And come back to the center. And let your sitting bones move to your heels. Lengthen the arms in front of you, rest your forehead onto the mat. And take a couple of breaths here in child's pose. And on your next inhalation, come back to a tabletop position. And tuck your toes under. Bring your sitting bones back to your heels again. Really activate your arms, lengthen through the fingertips into the mat. And from there, start to lift up your hips, lengthen the spine and bring your sitting bones up as high as you can towards the ceiling. Maybe keep the knees bent for now and just focus on lengthening the spine. On inhalation, bring your shoulders close toward your ears. And then exhale, take your shoulders far away from your ears, broadening the shoulders. So making them wide. Take deep breaths. And then walk your feet forward. We bend your knees a bit deeper on the way, place your feet hip distance apart, and relax your upper body. Then we bend your knees a bit deeper so that the belly can make contact with the thighs and you can really relax your spine. And then interlace your fingers behind your back. Reach your knuckles up towards the ceiling, and maybe all the way further towards the floor. Take your attention to the shoulder blades, to the shoulder girdle. girdle. And with every exhalation, let that whole area become a bit softer. And exhale, bring your arms back down, bend your knees deeply into a squat, reach your arms forward. Now on your next inhalation, lift your arms up and come all the way to standing. Exhale, bring the arms down alongside your body. And then we'll come to stand at the top of the mat, do a couple of rounds of sun salutation to warm up the body a bit further. to stand with your big toes together, the heels slightly apart, creating length through the legs by pulling up the kneecaps and gently bringing the tailbone down from there, lengthening through the spine, bringing the shoulders back, the arms next to your body. On an inhalation, lifting up your arms, creating space. Exhale, bend forward from the hips. Either keep the legs straight if that feels comfortable or bend your knees. Relax the spine, relax the neck. Inhale, lengthen the spine, come into the fingertips and look forward, maybe bending the knees a bit deeper. And then place the palms of the hands down onto the mat. Step your feet all the way back to a high plank position. 
and stay here for just a couple of breaths. Lengthen through the crown of the head and lengthen back through the heels. And then from there, on an exhalation, bring your knees to the mat, bend your elbows, bring your elbows close into your side ribs, and bring your chest and chin down to the mat. Straighten the feet, inhale, lift up your upper body, then press yourself further into an upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over the toes into downward facing dog. Stay here for a couple of breaths. If you want, you can still keep the knees bent so you can focus on lengthening the spine or you can straighten your legs, bringing the heels closer towards the mat. And on an exhalation, bend your knees, look in between your hands. Inhale, walk your feet forward. Maybe bend the knees on the way, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, relax your spine. Inhale, come all the way up. Reach your arms to the ceiling. And exhale, bring your hands in front of your chest, Tamasiti. Inhale, lift up your arms. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. And exhale, step your feet back into a high plank. Stay here for one breath. And then on exhalation, bring your knees down, chest and chin down to the mat. Straighten the feet, inhale, upward facing dog. Open the chest, bring the shoulders back. And exhale, downward facing dog. Gaze to a fixed point in between your feet. And take deep breaths. And on exhalation, bend your knees, look in between your hands. Inhale, walk or step the feet forward. Lengthen the spine, exhale, relax your spine, relax the crown of the head down. Inhale, come all the way up, create length, and exhale, hands in front of the chest. Inhale, arms coming up, exhale, bend forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward, and exhale, step or jump the feet back. Chaturanga Dandasana, or knees, chest and chin down to the mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. On the next exhalation, bend your knees, look in between your hands. Inhale, step, walk, or jump the feet forward. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, relax your spine. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, step or jump the feet back. Chaturanga Dandasana, our knees to mat, upper body to mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. On exhalation, bend your knees, look in between your hands. Inhale, step, walk, or jump the feet forward. Lengthen. 
and exhale, release. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, hands in front of the heart. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, bend forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. And exhale, step or jump the feet back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now in downward facing dog, place the feet together, big toes touching. On an inhalation, lift up your right leg as high as you can. And then open up your hips, so right hip on top of the left. Bend your right knee and look underneath the right arm. Creating length on the right side of the body. Keep on breathing. Left heel keeps on moving down towards the mat. Keep on lengthening through the arms. And turn back to the center. And step your right foot in between your hands. Take your left knee down to the mat. Inhale, reach your arms up to the ceiling. Let the hips be heavy. Lengthen through the spine, through the arms, through the fingertips. Exhale, bring the arms down. Interlace your fingers behind your back. And reach your knuckles towards your left heel. Now release your fingers, place your hands back onto the mat and step your right foot next to your left in downward facing dog. And step your feet together again, big toes touching. On an inhalation, lift up your left leg as high as you can, opening the hips, left hip on top of the right, bend your left knee, and then look underneath your left arm. Take deep breaths. Keep on activating the arms. Really lengthen the right heel into the mat. And turn back to the center. Take a big step with your left foot in between your hands. Take your right knee down. Inhale, let your arms move up. And reach to the ceiling. Let your hips be heavy. Take deep breaths. On exhalation, take your arms down, interlace your fingers behind your back. Reach your knuckles towards your heel as you're opening your chest, gazing up to the ceiling. And release the hands. Stepping the left foot back in downward facing dog. And take your knees down to the mat, sitting bones to your heels. Take a moment in child's pose, focusing on the rhythm of your breath. On inhalation, come back up. Really activate your arms. Tuck your toes under. Bring your sitting bones up all the way towards the ceiling. And then place the feet together again. On inhalation, lift up your right leg as high as you can. Open the hips. Bend your right knee. Look underneath the right arm. Turn back to the center. Take a big step with your right foot in between your heels. This time straight in the left leg. Reach your left heel back on an inhalation. Lift up your upper body. Reach your arms to the ceiling. Warrior one. Take deep breaths. Maybe sit your hips a bit deeper. Soften the shoulders away from the ears.
And then bring the palms of the hands together in front of the heart. Take your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist and look over the right shoulder towards the ceiling. Deep breaths, maybe tucking the lower belly a bit deeper in towards the spine, creating space. And turning back to the center, stepping the right foot back in downward facing dog. Placing the feet together again. On an inhalation, lift up your left leg as high as you can. Opening the hips, bend the left knee, look underneath the left arm. And turning back to the center, taking a big step with your left foot in between your hands. Straighten the right leg. On an inhalation, lift yourself up. Warrior one. And bring the palms of the hands together in front of the heart. Take your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Look over the left shoulder towards the ceiling. And turn back to the center. Step your left foot back in downward facing dog. And take your knees down to the mat and come into child's pose for a couple of breaths. Focusing your attention on, on the sensations in your body. Inhalation, come back up. We'll be starting some handstand practice. Um, but the first exercise we're doing, it's not actually about coming up into a handstand. It's about um, developing a little bit of the, the jumping power into the legs. So you can tuck your toes under, coming into a downward facing dog. And from there, walking the feet forward towards the hands. And take a moment to observe whether the hands are still shoulder distance apart with the fingers widely spread. Making sure that you can really bring the weight of your body uh, into the palms and into the fingertips. So you have a really strong foundation. Then you look to the spot in between your hands. You lift up your right leg and just jump with your left. Just little jumps, a couple of times. Using the movement of the right leg to come up a little bit higher. Don't come up too high in case you're falling backwards or to the side. And then go to the other leg, making little hops. Doesn't matter how high you get. Keep on breathing. And bringing the knees down, taking a rest in child's pose. Focusing on your breath. Uh, inhalation coming back up with your upper body. And we'll go to a second practice of handstand. So for this one you can take your mat maybe a little bit further away from the wall. And 
you come to sit with your toes touching the, the wall, placing your hands in front of you, and then coming up, maybe walking the hands a little bit further so you feel the right position of the hands, and then walking your feet up onto the wall. Gazing to a point in between the hands, activating the arms, and then walking the feet down again, taking a moment of rest in child's pose. And inhalation coming back up with your upper body. Doing the same exercise. Maybe you want to bring your hands a bit closer towards the wall or a bit further away. Let's just experiment a little bit, okay? So, walking the feet up. You let the weight of your body move down into the mat through the palms of the hands, especially also the ball of the index finger and the thumb and through the fingertips. And you can gaze to a point in between the hands. Take deep breaths. And make sure your wrists feel okay throughout the whole exercise. You don't want them to hurt. Come down whenever you feel you need to come down. Taking a rest in child's pose. On an inhalation coming back up. We'll do it one last time. Placing the hands into the mat, walking the feet up. And if you want to take it a little bit further, you can move your weight a little bit from right to left. And maybe you can even lift up one hand at a time. <laughs> And coming back out of the posture and into child's pose. An inhalation, come back up with your upper body. Come a little bit forward onto the mat, sitting onto the heels. Now walking your hands back with the fingers pointing forward. Either stay here, opening the chest, letting the head move back. Or if you want to take it a little bit further, you can bring your elbows down to the mat. Resting your hands onto your feet. Staying here. Or if you want to take it a little bit further, you place the crown of the head onto the mat, holding the opposite elbow, taking your arms over your head. Lifting up your chest a bit higher with each inhalation. And take your arms down to the mat again. On the inhalation, come all the way up. Take it easy. Take it slowly. And then we'll be coming to our third and final handstand practice. 
for this version you can bring the mat a bit closer towards the wall so the mat is actually touching the wall and we will be jumping up our legs against the wall and we'll be doing that the same way as we did the, the first variation so just lifting up one leg and then hopping with the other leg and as we are jumping up um, you want to try to bring your hips above the shoulders so don't worry too much about bringing the legs all the way up but yeah think about bringing the hips in one line with the shoulders and then the legs will just follow placing the hands shoulder distance spreading the fingers really let the weight move into the mat walking your feet close towards your hands gazing to a point in between the hands and on an inhalation, lifting up your right leg. Maybe doing a couple of hops. And focus on bringing your hips in one line with the shoulders. So bring the hips up. And at some point, your feet, your legs might follow. And you can just let them rest against the, the wall. Maybe straightening through the arms, straightening through the spine, through the legs. Keep on breathing. Activate the abdominal muscles. And on exhalation, coming back down. Maybe resting into a child's pose or just sitting on your knees for a little bit. Relax the shoulders, relax the arms. And then we'll repeat this same practice, but jumping up with the other leg. So let's try that. Placing the hands at shoulder distance, spreading the fingers, really activating the arms, looking to a point in between your hands, then jumping up your left leg. Just doing that a couple of times. Try to bring the hips above the shoulders. all the way up, letting the legs rest against the wall, gazing to a point in between the hands, creating length, taking deep breaths. Maybe you want to try to find your balance here, finding the center. Coming back down, resting in a child's pose or just sitting onto your heels. Relax the shoulders, relax the arms. If you want, you can take your mat a little bit away from the wall again. Place the soles of the feet together. Let the knees drop out to the sides. Then bring your hands underneath your legs, holding the feet. And just let your spine round, relaxing the hips. Flexing the spine, the shoulders, the arms, the neck. It doesn't matter how far you get into the posture. Just take a moment to completely relax your body. Focusing on your breath.
Inhale, coming up with your upper body. And then come to lie onto your belly. Bending your knees, holding your feet, or holding your ankles. And bringing the hips down, pressing them into the mat. And start to lift up your upper body. And press your hands, or press your feet into your hands. Allow your legs to lift up a bit. So we like to do this posture after practicing handstand because it opens the wrists again, takes away a bit of the pressure. So take deep breaths here. Maybe coming a bit deeper into the posture. And exhale, release, lie onto your favorite chick. And placing your hands shoulder distance onto the mat, pushing yourself all the way up. And come to lie onto the mat. We'll do one last twist before we go to Shavasana. You can either keep your feet onto the mat and from there let your knees drop to the side. Or if you want to make it a little bit more intense, you lift up your knees toward your chest. You place your arms at shoulder level if you have space, otherwise you can bend your elbows. And let your knees drop to the right. Look over the left shoulder. You maybe already close your eyes. Relaxing your body a bit more with each in exhalation. If that means that you're legs are sliding a bit away, then that's fine. If it means that the shoulders are lifting a bit, maybe the left shoulder will be lifting a bit, that's fine. And you'll come back to the center. And exhale, move to the other side. Let your knees drop to the left. Let your head move to the right. Allow your whole body to soften. And to relax a bit deeper with each exhalation. Come back to the center. Come to lie in Shavasana. Maybe you want to take a blanket. Make yourself super comfortable. Bring the legs a little bit away from each other. Let the feet drop out to the sides. Maybe bring the shoulder blades a bit deeper under you. The arms a bit away from the body with the palms up. Maybe lengthen the neck. And take a deep inhalation through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Take a deep inhalation through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. One last time. Take a deep inhalation. And with the exhalation, allow your whole body to soften and to relax into the mat. Letting go of any tension that might be left. The next couple of minutes, you don't have to do anything anymore.
And then take your attention to your facial muscles. Feel whether the, the muscles of the eyes are relaxed, the muscles of the jaws, the mouth, the tongue. And then really gently create a smile to your face. And feel what it does to smile. Feel how it relaxes the face further. And maybe also feel how this relaxation can ripple through the rest of your body. Just a gentle smile. Really slowly, start to move your head from left to right. And then also wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. And let those movements become a bit bigger. And then interlace your fingers, bring your arms over your head, activate your legs, point your feet. Make yourself super tall. And exhale, release. Roll into the right side of your body. Take a couple of breaths here. And then whenever you're ready, gently push yourself back up to a seated position. Maybe keeping the eyes closed for just a little bit longer. Take three deep breaths in and out. And then with the third breath, Gently open your eyes. If you want, bring the palms of the hands together in front of your heart. Taking a moment to thank yourself for practicing today and for feeling the connection with all the other people that are practicing together with you. Thank you for joining.